The Case of the Missing Moon Cookies Once upon a time, in the quiet little town of Crescentville, there was a bakery that was famous for its delicious moon cookies. These moon cookies were unlike any other treats in the world. They were shaped like crescent moons, with a golden brown crust and a gooey, chocolatey filling that oozed out when you took a bite. The bakery was run by a kind and elderly woman named Mrs. Patterson, who had been baking these moon cookies for decades. One sunny morning, as the townsfolk gathered at the bakery to get their daily fix of moon cookies, they were met with an alarming sight. The glass display case that usually held rows upon rows of those mouth-watering moon cookies was empty. Gasps of shock and disappointment echoed through the bakery. Mrs. Patterson, a plump lady with silver hair and a perpetual twinkle in her eye, was standing behind the counter, looking just as surprised as her customers. Her loyal assistant, a young woman named Lily, was equally puzzled. The moon cookies are missing, Mrs. Patterson exclaimed, her voice trembling. I prepared a fresh batch last night. They should have been here this morning. Panic began to spread through Crescentville. The moon cookies were a beloved tradition, and the town was known for its annual moon festival, which celebrated these delectable treats. Without the moon cookies, the festival would be ruined. Lily, determined to get to the bottom of this mystery, volunteered to investigate. She began by questioning the bakery's regular customers and the neighboring shopkeepers. Everyone loved Mrs. Patterson and her moon cookies, so it was hard to imagine anyone wanting to steal them. However, as Lily dug deeper, she uncovered a few suspicious details. The night before, a stranger had been spotted lurking around the bakery, wearing a dark hoodie and carrying a bag. Nobody knew who this person was, and they hadn't seen them since. Lily knew she had to find this mysterious figure. With determination in her heart, Lily started her investigation, she reviewed the security footage from the bakery and saw the hooded stranger enter the shop just after closing time. They had gone straight to the display case, removed all the moon cookies, and vanished into the night. Lily took this information to the Crescentville police, led by the astute detective Anderson. Together, they retraced the stranger's steps, questioning witnesses and piecing together the puzzle— they discovered that the stranger had used a hidden alleyway behind the bakery to make their escape. As they followed the trail, it led them to a boarded-up, abandoned building on the outskirts of town. Detective Anderson and Lily cautiously entered the building, their flashlights cutting through the darkness. What they found inside was astonishing. The stolen moon cookies were stacked in neat piles, but the thief was nowhere to be seen. As they collected the moon cookies and prepared to return them to Mrs. Patterson, they heard a soft whimper coming from a corner of the room. There, huddled in the shadows, was a young boy, no older than twelve. The boy, whose name was Timmy, was hungry and scared. He admitted to stealing the moon cookies because he had heard how delicious they were and wanted to bring some home to share with his family, who were struggling to make ends meet. He didn't mean to cause any harm— he just wanted to bring a little joy to his loved ones. Touched by Timmy's story, Detective Anderson and Lily decided not to press charges. Instead, they offered to help his family and ensure they had enough to eat. Timmy agreed to return the stolen moon cookies to Mrs. Patterson and apologize for his actions. The town of Crescentville came together to support Timmy's family, donating food and essentials to help them through their difficult times. And when the moon festival arrived, Mrs. Patterson's moon cookies were as delicious as ever, bringing joy and happiness to everyone in town. The case of the missing moon cookies had a happy ending, reminding the people of Crescentville that sometimes, even in the face of a mystery, compassion and understanding could shine the brightest light.